Hey guys, uh, I just wanted to do a quick update here on the Summit, uh, the one tenth scale Traxxas, you know, you know the drill. Uh, I just wanted to show you how the rear diff works, or the front and rear locking diffs. Uh, this is just a quick, I don't have, I only have a couple minutes to do this. Um, but if you see here, if I turn, let's say I turn this back shaft here clockwise, the, this shaft here in the front will turn counterclockwise. And I know it's hard to see. Yeah. Anyways, uh, and the way it locks is because that gives you an open diff, I believe, uh, to make it a closed, well, not necessarily closed diff, but to make it to where it's, you know, to lock it. Turned it to a posi traction, I guess you want to say. Um, this little piece here goes over this pin and it locks in. Now you can't move it. What that does is it stops the internal spider gears that are in this little black diff cup and it makes it all turn at once, which is awesome. Um, it's a nice design, it's a little bulky. Uh, but it's it's nothing to worry about, nothing too big, too stupid. Um, but yeah, it's it sits about right there when it's not locked, and uh, sometimes it'll it'll catch on itself before it locks in, and then it'll catch. Uh, sometimes it takes a little while. Uh, right now we're gonna go ahead and get this all put back together. Nope, not that one. That one? Nope. We'll go with that one. I don't think it's that one either. Well, it probably is. I think it is. Yeah, it is. Because that has to have room to come out. Alright, sorry. Um, and then we'll get the big bearing here. It slides on. Right. There. This one here. There we go. Now, we're going to take our pinion, go ahead and get the new bearing on it if it'll go on. I might have to hit it with a little bit of sandpaper first. Alright, sorry about that. I had to clean it off a little bit. There we go. That one's on. That one's on. We're going to grab my grease here that I use. My little brush. Now I use, since I don't go very fast with this uh, Summit, it's, uh, it, it's just crawling. Uh, I'm actually going to put a smaller pinion gear in it so it'll, so it'll run slower. Uh, I use this Vaveline GM Chrysler European Japanese Vehicles multi-purpose grease. Um, it's not water washout resistant, but it does work really well. Uh, and here it says disc brake, wheel bearings, uh, steering linkage, chassis, suspension, universal joints or U joints. Uh, it's some good stuff. I use it in my transmissions and my diffs. Uh, as you can see, it's a Reddish color. <laughs> Smells terrible, so you know it's going to be some good stuff. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to take this piece here, and this is your... Uh, this is where the drive shaft would go in to your pinion gear. So we're going to go ahead and throw the pinion gear in. You have to leave one of these bearings off. I didn't think about that. Uh, we're going to first get a little bit of grease. 
We're going to go around the inside here. Just about where that bearing goes. Just enough to get some in there to help work the grease into the bearing. Go ahead and coat the inside a little bit. <clears throat> Excuse me. And the plan here is you don't want to put too much in there because then it'll be there'll be way too much uh, resistance and you'll end up breaking something if you put way too much. You'll have to put a lot in there to do that. Uh, I did that on the Emax when I first rebuilt the rear diff and stripped it out again. Uh, I put way too much in there. And my Mini E Revo, I uh, stripped like three diffs on it, I believe. Uh, sorry, I'm not doing this on camera. There's a little. Let's, let's move the camera over a little bit so you can see. There we go. So, I'm just applying it in there, kind of pulling out any excess, hitting all the spots, and I'll clean it up after I'm done putting it together. Slip that down. Throw the pinion gear in there. Squeeze that down. There we go. Now, we're going to put the new bearing in here. There we go. And we're going to put, since I got the gear in there, we're going to put a little blob on the on the actual teeth of the gear. Uh, what it's going to do is it's going to help it get in between the teeth and the diff and really make a big difference there. I'm going to drop that gear down. I'm going to take this piece here, set it in. There we go. Alright, and I, I keep this diff locked. I can permanently lock it. If I wanted to, I could buy the E-Revo diff, and, uh, or the E-Revo rear diff and rear bulkhead, and just put a locker in it, but I just haven't worried about it. I just keep it locked with uh, with a piece of uh, metal wire. And uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to try to. Gary. Hold on. You coming? Yeah, give me just a second. You said that when I first came down here. Yeah, 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 I know. Like 10 minutes ago. I know, I know. I forgot to clean up this gear here. I'm going to clean it out real quick. I know you're supposed to do diff oil in these. You know, 100,000 weight or whatever, but I I don't worry about that. I, I work on cars enough with gears and all that. Not really so much gears, but I know enough about automotive that I know I can use this stuff in here. Uh, I wouldn't act, I wouldn't exactly recommend it because not using stock or close to stock uh, lubrications you do run the risk of tearing it up even worse and spending money on new ones because I told you to break it or something like that so I don't I'm not gonna recommend it to anybody uh, just for that exact reason I'm gonna coat that there we go get a little bit down in there. There we go. And now, take the other half of the diff case, throw it on, wipe my hands off right quick. Actually, just gonna use this towel because I have to use it anyways. Alright, and our rear diff is put together. All you have to do is put in one, two, three, four, five, six bolts, and your diff is ready to go, guys. Uh, so yeah, just, that's uh, that was just a quick little lesson on how the diff works. If you didn't quite catch it, let me know, and I'll do a little bit better quality of a video with my phone. Uh, sometimes my phone shows things better than the GoPro. Sometimes the GoPro shows better than the phone. 
So just let me know, guys. Uh, give a like, comment if you have any questions, and uh, feel free to subscribe if you want. That's totally up to you. Doesn't hurt my feelings if you don't. That's fun with me, guys. Y'all take it easy. Have a good night. We'll see you in the next video.